Po'boy Special here. What in the world have we got in store for you today? Alright, you see our famous zombie skull, but that's not what we're doing today. We gave the zombie skulls a holiday off. So, no more zombie skull for the day. Instead, what we have for you is, a lot of people are saying, well, the 380 and the 32 is fine, but what about going through bone? Well, here's the 380. That's the PDX-1 by Winchester. All right, and we're going to test that and the 32 ACP through. I'm glad you asked. There we go. Say, so what in the world is all of that mess? All right, first of all, we have in jug number one. That's right, it's six inches all the way across. We filled it full of water, and this is bone. That's right, let's zoom in on that. This is bone. Thanksgiving Day, we bagged us a deer. So this is the leg bone, the back leg bone of a deer. Pretty thick, pretty durable. We're going to test to see if a 380 will go through the water and the bone and see if it'll go through. What about this one? All right, this one is the leftover turkey. <laughs> That's right. This is all the bones that came out of the turkey. And we filled it full of water as well. So we're going to test to see if it'll go through all those bones and meat and everything of the turkey and of a deer. And that's the leg bone, the back hind leg of a deer. So let's get to work. Let's see what it'll do. You saw it here on the Po' Boy Special Channel and the zombie skull has the day off. All right, we have the MagSafe round in a 32 ACP. Here it is right here. I don't know if you can see the little things inside it or not. But there's a, we got a 10 round extension for the Caltech P32. And that's what we're using here. One, to see if it's going to feed and give us a really good ammo loading. So here we go. All right, from about four feet away we're gonna see if it'll go through those bones and the jug behind it MagSafe round 32 ACP here it is alright what did we find here's where it went in right here where my see the finger where the hole is it took the meat and pushed it all up. I don't know if you can see that really good, but see how there's a big gap here? It hit it like a bulldozer and pushed all that meat and bone up. We have, I'm gonna see if I can get to this right here. Hold on and I'll. All right, this is what it did. Obviously you can see where it went in right here. Look at all this devastation right here. Look at that big hole it made right here did it make it to the next jug let's find out all right here it is a side view why yes it did yes it did there's the bullet as a matter of fact lodged in it <laughs> let's recover that and see what we get all right here's your mag safe round I wanted to point out a couple of things the bullet lodged right here and we see about one, two, three, four, five little pellets right here. So little pellets did make it in. And here's the bullet. We're going to extract that right now and show you the MagSafe bullet. All right. There it is right here. Let's see if I can cut that out. And we're trying to get this bullet out for you. There it is. So there it is. There's the 32 ACP MagSafe round. Went into that. So we got, and here's, oh, awesome. This is awesome right here. Let me see if I can get this out for you. Yes, we did. <laughs> Look what I found. There's the little pellets inside the round. Recovered. There you go. So we got the bullet and a bunch of little pellets. There it is. 
you saw it on the Po' Boy Special Channel, six inches of devastation through meat, bone, water. That's what's left of it when you recover it from a 32 ACP. Now you tell me if that is sufficient stopping power. Six inches, almost seven inches. There you go. You saw it on the Po' Boy Special Channel.